Guys, I am so excited because today I'm going to be doing something I've been wanting to do for several months now. I'm going to be building my very own Christmas light antenna. Today on KF5 IRE Ham Radio. I honestly have no idea if this is even going to work the way that I want to do it, but basically the 10 meter dipole I made a few months ago when I first started on HF, I actually made a six meter version of that. So I haven't even used the six meter dipole just because I never use six meters. Uh, I can never seem to get it to work for me and find a band opening or anything. So I'm just gonna kinda take that one apart and I can always put it back together later if I feel like it. But I'm basically going to scrap the six meter dipole and that's what I'm going to be building my antenna out of. So basically I'm just kinda doing my own version. I've seen a lot of other people do the Christmas lights antennas, but I'm gonna be building a 20 meter dipole out of Christmas lights and we're gonna see how it works. So let's head over to the workbench and get started and I'll show you guys a little bit more in depth about my idea for this build. All right, let's head over to the workbench. All right, so we're over here at the workbench and this is kind of just what I've got going on. Again, this is my six meter dipole that I made a few months ago when I first started in HF. It's the same thing basically as my 10 meter dipole and these are the Christmas lights. Again, these are what is going to be the antenna itself. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the solder off the back of the six meter dipole and unscrew it, take all this stuff off. I'm gonna save the wire and use it maybe if I decide to put it back together after Christmas again. But yeah, so again, six meter dipole and the Christmas lights. So the green uh, like cutting board material, that's gonna be the main body of the Christmas lights dipole as well. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take another couple of links of speaker wire that is my speaker wire dipole. And that's actually what's going to be used to connect to the antenna itself. So I'm going to basically be cutting this in half. This is about 60 feet of Christmas lights. So these are gonna get cut in half and both of these are going to end up being legs of my dipole. And then again, a length of speaker wire on each side, not this speaker wire because I want to save these wires so I have a six meter ready to go next time I need it, but it's gonna get soldered onto this for the antenna. So let's go ahead and start taking this part. And then same thing on this side, I'm gonna have to take the insulators off. It's most of the way undone now. Now all I gotta do is take the solder out. So now that I've got the six meter dipole disassembled, I'm gonna take a couple of inches of this uh, speaker wire and I'm going to just cut a little bit of it off and I'm going to use some of this kind of uh, between the coax and the actual radiating elements themselves. But the Christmas lights will actually be the main part of the antenna. This is the length of wire that I cut, uh, just a couple of inches long. Strip these apart. Again, it's gonna be a length that gets fed through the strain release. There we go. This other side. That is stripped as well. So now that I have both of these pieces of wire stripped, what I'm gonna do is I'm just basically going to tin the ends of these before I put one inside of a terminal ring and the other is gonna get put into the PL259. And I'll just so you know, I don't do the best soldering in the world. I'm still very new to soldering, so it's probably not gonna be the prettiest solder job in the whole world, but we will make it work. All right, and that is a tinned cable. Nicely crimped. Now that is nice and heat shrunk. Bad, looks not terrible. All 
this is what I ended up with. Again, it's just kind of got these two legs on it right now. Just a very, very small dipole leg, as you could say. I've got both of the legs terminated right now, and I'm getting ready to start prepping these. Got everything all soldered up and screwed up in there, so let's go ahead and start prepping the Christmas lights. I want this antenna to be resonant on about 14.175 megahertz. That's kind of like the middle of the 20 meter band. That's just kind of where I'm gonna put it because I kind of wanna have the ability to work both FT8 and sideband on this antenna. So if I put in 14.175 megahertz for a half wave it's about 33 feet and about 16 feet per leg for a quarter wave i think i'm going to do 16 feet per side which is a lot easier to measure with my tape measure since it is a 16 foot tape measure basically the way i'm going to do this since i don't have a whole lot of space to do this what i'm going to do is i'm going to basically just Put my finger on the, uh, I'm basically going to just put my finger on it and move it down the line. That's one forefoot. That's two forefoot. three four foot That's four four foot and that's five four foot so I'm going to cut this in half about right here and I'm gonna just do the same thing with this other half five five feet of this uh, cable one four foot section two four foot section three So if I did my calculations right, this is about 16 feet, and these both should end up being even. And it looks like we're about even. Since I've already got this side cut, this is the side that I'm going to start terminating first, and I'm probably going to just have to cut this first one off because I need the extra room. Just put a little bit in there that back and what I'm gonna do same thing here cut this amount so now that I have all of these together what I'm going to do I'm just gonna twist all of these together so that basically it forms one wire Now what I'm gonna do is put this in the butt connector. And both are now securely inside of the butt connector. This is what the sides I was hoping were gonna turn out like. Again, it's just each leg's gonna go off into the strand of lights. So I'll come back here in a minute and I'll just heat shrink these after I'm done with the other side. Both legs of the dipole are now crimped together. This is supposed to be a Christmas light dipole. 
And now hopefully once all is said and done, it will transmit and these will light up. But before I forget, I need to heat shrink both of these. All right, now that I've got those heat shrink, I'm going to try to continuity test this now. So this should, yep. We should have a working antenna now. It seems like the continuity test is pretty much checking out all good. See if I can get this up tonight and make something happen. Make some contacts maybe. All right, I've got the antenna set up in the backyard now. So let's go out back and check it out. All right, this is gonna be really hard to see because it is 12 o'clock in the morning, but this is the antenna. I've just kind of got it set up on a uh, light stand that I got off Amazon. And I've just got PVC pipe going up to the top up there. There's the feed point about, I don't know how many feet, that's probably about 15 feet off the ground. And then coming down on this side and this side is coming over here and staked into the ground with a tent stake right there. And then the other leg of the dipole is staked out here as well on this side. This side's kind of draped down a lot more than the other, so I might actually pull some of that slack and see if that might make a difference. That might, may not, I don't know. But yeah, so now it's staked out and I'm gonna go inside and try to make some contacts on it, see what we can get, and I'll put the other camera out here so I can capture what is going on. All right, so I've already made one contact uh, before I started filming. It was a guy that was maybe, I don't know, 15 miles away from me. Right now, the tuner is tuned to 160 meters, but I'm gonna just show you guys. This thing actually tunes right up. I'm really surprised with the tuner on. It tuned, that tuned right up, and it's showing I'm putting out, I don't know if you guys can even see that on the screen, showing I'm putting out 95 watts out of this thing right now. Uh, that's what the tuner is showing. Yeah, 20 sounds dead. Let's go up to 30. Hit tune on 30. 30 tuned up at 1 to 1. So yeah, we're at 1.1 SWR right now. Putting out 100 watts on 30 meters, which is actually kind of not surprising because, again, I cut this antenna longer um, than I was supposed to. So we'll try 40. 40 is live and well. 1.8 FWR, putting out 100 watts. That's not bad. 1.8 with the tuner. Let's see if I can get Cuba on the Christmas lights antenna right now. Holy crap, look at where I'm being spotted. I'm being spotted all the way up into like Canada. I don't know what part of Canada that is. Up into Saskatchewan, like north of Yorkton. That's impressive. Winnipeg. Not seeing any Cuba. But the dipole is kind of like a north-south configuration. I yeah, north-south. Let's see if I can make a contact with Kentucky. Cuba did not hear me. Oh, looks like we're getting Kentucky. Kilo 4 Zulu Hotel. He's got me at minus 12. I've got him at minus 13. And we got him, we got Kentucky. Kilo 4, Zulu Hotel, thanks for the contact, man. Let's see who else we can work on this Christmas light antenna. Holy crap, we're getting, we're getting into Alaska right now on 30 meters on the Christmas light dipole. On 40 meters right now, we're getting into Alaska. And as far northwest as Alaska and as far southeast as Dominican Republic. That is pretty cool. See if I can work Florida on 40 right now on this antenna. But I don't think he, he's not coming back to me. I don't know if he can't hear me. He's not showing up on PSK that he's spotted me. That sucks. I can hear him. This thing's definitely receiving very well, but transmit. I mean, I'm putting out a full 100 watts on this thing right now. With 95 is what it's showing now with seven reflected. 
Hopefully I don't blow out the finals on the 891. Just look at my PSK. I've got a lot of, I'm getting out everywhere. I'm getting into, I don't know if that, I think that's France. There we go, I'm working Nebraska now. All right, there's that Roger Roger 7-3, so we got him. This is really cool. This is actually, I think, one of the most fun projects I've done. I'm really curious what this thing looks like outside right now. Hopefully it's like really lit up. And I'm gonna try to call somebody. I might, I'll just call CQ. But I'm gonna go look out there and see if I can, what are the lights doing? <laughs> oh my gosh. They're so faint. They're barely there, putting out 100 watts. Barely, just barely getting a little bit of light coming out of that. You can see it. I don't know if you can see it on this camera or not, because this camera kind of sucks. But like right toward the top of the pole. Oh yeah, there's some of the ends are lit up too. See, I've got like, definitely not a whole lot of them. I'm, I think to light this thing up a lot, I would need more power. That's cool. So yeah, I've got a little bit of power coming through this thing. All right guys, and there's just one more thing I wanna show you guys real quick, and that is just the SWR sweep that I just did on the Nano VNA. The SWR readings were much, much, much lower when I was running FT8, but I was going through the antenna tuner. Now, this is just the antenna just by itself, and I'm a little bit kind of surprised by the readings based off of how the antenna was performing with the tuner, but at the same time, I'm really not. So there are actually only two places where we're resonant on this antenna and I'll show you guys that here in just a second. And the sweep that I just did on the Nano VNA of this antenna is from 160 meters up to 10 meters. So let's take a look real quick. Um, don't have a whole lot of coax to bring this any closer, but I'll try to keep it in the view. Basically, there are, like I said, two places where we're resonant. So at the top of 160 meters, we are 21. Our SWR is 21 at the top of 160 meters. Uh, keep coming down a little bit. It gets down around about uh, 12 megahertz. We drop down to an SWR of about 12. Uh, drop down to an SWR of about 8, around 2.6. SWR of 6 at 2.9. SWR of four, around 3.1, 3.4, still SWR of four, SWR gets a little bit higher as we come to four megahertz, SWR of five, all the way up to six megahertz. But like I showed you guys earlier, I was getting quite a few contacts on uh, 40 meters. Well, here at about 7.6 megahertz, I have an SWR of 2.4. So we're kind of resonant, not really resonant, but we're a little bit resonant down at 7.6 megahertz is about where I'm getting at 2.4. Goes back up right after that at about 7.9. And then we're basically maxed out to S6 all the way through 26 megahertz. And then at 28.026, so in the CW portion of 10 meters, I have a SWR of 2.5 and then it just goes back all the way up to about a three for the rest of 10 meters. Yeah, uh, this antenna is actually pretty cool. All in all, this was a pretty fun build. I had a ton of fun building this antenna. The reason the SWRs are so high is I haven't even trimmed this antenna yet. This was just without trimming it, and like I said, I was getting some pretty good contacts when I was using the tuner, especially on 40 meters. I'm hoping to see what it'll do maybe tomorrow once 20 meters opens back up. I'm gonna try to trim it down in the next few days and just kind of see what kind of SWRs I get out of this thing. And maybe maybe with a little bit less resistance, it'll light up a little bit brighter, but it was pretty cool. This was definitely one of the most fun projects that I've embarked on in ham radio so far. This was a fun project. I'm so glad that I came across it and Saw several other YouTubers had done videos on it in the past, so I thought I'd try my hand at it as well, and I had a lot of fun with it, so this is a pretty cool project, and I, I hope to kind of make some other videos kind of building on this antenna build, and I highly recommend if you have the opportunity to build one of these antennas, definitely go and do it. It's, it's a ton of fun, guys, and that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always. I hope each and every one of you has a safe and happy holiday season. Until next time guys, 73.